Good morning and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Todd McDonald and I am part of the Alera Group and we are delighted to be with you sharing a wonderful series. Uh, today will be telemedicine and we're excited to bring a lot of information and ideas and so forth to you on behalf of uh, Alera Group. When I was with you last, uh, we talked a little bit about our unique story and our desire to uh, fiercely collaborate, and today's a perfect example of that, and we've brought together some wonderful partners, uh, particularly from 1-800-MD, and we're delighted to have them as part of this series as we continue to educate and guide our clients and our prospects and so forth. So this morning, I would like to welcome Carol Tholen. Uh, Carol is a senior sales executive at 1-800-MD, and she has successfully developed national broker relationships at a corporate level and put into place sales strategies and engagement downstream through brokers, prospects, and so forth. In addition, Ms. Tholen has successfully implemented TPAs, organized labor groups, and carrier plans with significant employee and member populations. Ms. Tholen believes strongly in relationship building, listening intently to customer needs, communicating solutions, and certainly follow through. Outside of work, she and her husband manage a busy household with three active children with interests both in the fine arts as well as athletics. So on behalf of Alera, I am delighted to introduce Carol, and I will turn it over to you now. Thank you so much, Todd. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate the opportunity to go through uh, a new member experience as far as what a member can expect to receive when they enroll in 1-800-MD Telemedicine Services um, and how easily they can activate their account um, request a consultation with one of our physicians, um, and receive care. So when a member is enrolled in 1-800-MD, um, they will receive uh, an email from the 1-800-MD services team that will welcome them to the 1-800-MD family, and attached to that email will be their fulfillment kit. Um, a fulfillment kit is essentially a welcome letter um, as well as an ID card. Um, the ID card contains important information that the member will need in order to activate their account. Um, so you'll see here there's a member name, there's group name, group number, member number, um, the details of when the effective date is, as well as what your consultation fee would be when speaking to a physician. In most cases, that's zero dollars, so it's no um, out-of-pocket cost to our members to speak to our physicians and receive care. So I'll take this information now and I'll go on to the 1-800-MD website. Uh, so you'll click 1-800-MD.com and member login. And all of these instructions are included in that welcome letter that every member receives. Um, so on this first login page, the very first time a member will click the activate button. At that point, they're going to be taken to the activation page. This is where you need that member number information. It's the one and only time that members are required to have that information, um, and they take that directly from that ID card that was contained in their fulfillment kit. Uh, so we've set up a dummy account so that I can demo the process for you. So my member number, I'll enter here. I also am going to be entering the group number that was printed on that same ID card. You can also use your first name, last name, and date of birth. Um, and then I'm going to enter an email address. This is where I'm setting up my own login credentials. So that the next time I log in, um, I simply can use the login credentials that I'm establishing. and I'll set up a password. The password must be eight characters at a minimum, contain an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number, and a symbol. And then I'll click activate my account. All right, 
Uh, right now, you're seeing the account um, needs to be verified, but it has successfully been activated. Check my email for a link to finish the verification. I'll click through to my email. Okay, here we go. I'm going to please verify your account to proceed. And you see it takes me directly to my member portal. Um, at this point, um, we're going to ask a member to fill out a brief health history form. That way it's, the physician has the information they need to review before having any consultation um, with the member. This is also the place where members will add their dependents. Um, they'll fill out that same health history form for their dependents. If it is an adult dependent, the, uh, we will require a unique email address for privacy purposes. So a quick health history, basic information, anything with a red asterisk is required. First name, last name, date of birth. Member number and group number are preloaded in here for you. Uh, I will have to add some information here. Uh, you can, at this point, also add any information that would be pertinent to the physician. Any medical conditions, current medications, any medical allergies, any prior surgeries that you would like to add. Um, and then you're also going to select your ph preferred pharmacy. Uh, we've made this as simple as possible. We can search by zip code. Um, so I will search quickly here. And I'll choose the CVS Pharmacy on Providence Road. So I'll confirm that. Um, so this way, our physician has the information they need in case they prescribe something. We e prescribe it automatically to the member's pharmacy of choice. Um, also, if the member would like to have their um, consultation record sent to a provider, whether it's a specialist or a PCP, they put that information here as well. I'll simply click Save. And my health history has been updated, as you can see. Now, if I go back to the 1-800-MD site, I click back out. There we go. I can request a consult directly from the home page. Uh, so I'm going to request, uh, and here you can see I'm listed as zero dollar consult fee plans. I'm going to request a telephone consultation. We also have a 1 800 MB mobile app, and all of this uh, can be done on the app as well. So I'll go through a few questions here. Who is the consultation for? They want to know if it's for the primary member or for any dependent. They would like me to confirm the pharmacy information. If for some reason I'm on vacation and I want to change my pharmacy information, you can do that at this time. Um, I'm going to put in my primary concerns of congestion and headache. And sinus pressure. Primary symptom of a cold. All right, so primary symptom, I'll put in here as a cold. Um, I don't really have any secondary symptoms. My preferred language is, is English. Um, we do English and Spanish on demand. We also have access to a translation service that covers an additional 170 languages that is facilitated by our member services representative. So it's a seamless experience for the member. Um, the state that I'm currently in is applicable um, so that we pair you with a physician that's licensed in that state. Um, and that is in the case if there is a prescription that's necessary. Um, you can upload an image um, that you want to share with the provider. Um, you can also, again, here have your consultation record sent to the primary care physician or specialist that you put into your health history. Um, and then the phone number where I would like the physician to call me on. Um, the physicians typically call within 15 minutes of a consultation request. We guarantee within one hour. Um, this is a very important question here where I would have sought care. Um, we offer several choices, urgent care, emergency room, primary care physician, retail clinic like a minute clinic, or I would not have sought care. Um, I'll choose a retail clinic because I probably would have gone down the street to my minute clinic if I didn't have access to telemedicine. Uh, I do have to um, acknowledge the terms and conditions, um, and then I have to um, also consent to treat. <clears throat> I'm going to request a consultation. And what happens at this point, 
um, is a member services representative um, will reach out to me, to the member, to clarify that we do not prescribe uh, medication for psychiatric illness, we do not prescribe DEA controlled substances, and we do not prescribe lifestyle drugs. Um, the member also receives a text if the phone number they provided is text enabled to confirm that the consultation request has been received and that the request is in queue um, for the physician um, that is available next that is paired with your condition. Hello, this is Dr. Douglas Morgart. Uh, good morning. Is this uh, Ms. Carol Tholen? It is, yes. Good morning, ma'am, and how are you doing today? I could be better. I'm not feeling so well. Uh, can you tell me when you got sick? So it's been a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, and I've been taking some over-the-counter medication, but they don't seem to be helping. It's getting worse and worse. That's why I actually requested the consult today. Is It's, it's very bad today. It's um, a, a very bad headache, a lot of congestion, and a tremendous amount of sinus pressure. My face is very, very tender to the touch above my sinus cavities, and it's just getting worse. Like Nothing seems to be helping. Okay. Have you ever had anything like this before? I tend to get um, sinus infections regularly, um, yes, so it's something that I'm familiar with. Okay. Are you having any fevers or chills? Uh, just a, a low-grade fever. Um, at night, it seems to be worse than during the day. Okay. Are you having any coughing or shortness of breath? No. And are you having any um, earache or sore throat? No. Okay. And have you had any loss of taste or smell? No. Okay, good. And have you had any known contact with the coronavirus patient in the past several weeks? No. Okay. And have you had any recent travel out of state or out of country in the past six weeks? No. Okay. Excellent. And are you allergic to any medications, ma'am? I have no, no, no medication allergies. And are you on any prescriptions now? I am on, um, I have high blood pressure medication, Coreg, 20 milligrams twice a day. Okay. Do you have any other medical problems other than the high blood pressure? like asthma no. or diabetes, nothing else, okay. No. And um, before we prescribe any medication, we want to just make sure you couldn't have an early pregnancy. When was your last menstrual period? Uh, it was a month ago, but those days um, are over for me as I've had three children and, and handled that already. <laughs> Okay, well, we don't worry about that then. Now, I want you to do a couple things for me. Can you tap on your sinuses uh, on your forehead above your eyes and then on your cheeks below your eyes? And just tell me if any of that hurts. Yeah, especially down here under my cheeks. Under the cheek, on both sides, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to do something for me. With your mouth wide open, I want you to take a deep breath in and then blow it out as hard as you can with your mouth wide open right into the uh, microphone of the computer or to the receiver of your telephone. Good. One more time. Good. Uh, we ask you to do that because sometimes on the forced expiration maneuver that you just did too, of, we could hear some subtle wheezing that you may not otherwise here just listening in conversation but the good news is I don't hear anything uh, with you it really sounds like you have a, a bad case of sinus infection or what we call bacterial sinusitis these all start out as virus infections and the experts say 95 percent of people are better by 10 days however five percent aren't and the ones that go beyond 10 days you really have to start worrying about what we call a secondary bacterial sinus infection. And I think that's probably what's going on with you. Okay. And you've, you've been diagnosed with this in the past. Is that right, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Well, I think that's what's going on now. I'm sorry you're suffering from it, but we're going to get you on an antibiotic. And you say you're not allergic to anything? Correct. So one of the first line antibiotics is Augmentin, and we use 875 milligram tablet. You only have to take that twice a day, and we treat for a full seven days. 
Uh, then we ask you to do a lot of rest, a lot of fluids. You can take Tylenol or ibuprofen every six hours as needed for the facial pain, the headache. A couple other things that will really help is if you run a cool mist humidifier in your bedroom at night, that will help. And uh, some saline nasal spray frequently throughout the day will help clear out the sinuses while the antibiotics are fighting the infection. Okay. And we treat for seven days, and we usually we say if you're not back to normal in a 10-day time frame, then it probably would be best to have a hands-on examination with your primary care doctor just to make sure nothing unusual is going on. All right. Great. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Do you have any questions about the treatment plan that we discussed? No. Okay. Well, very good. I will get this antibiotic sent into your pharmacy electronically. Uh, right now, and then it should be available for you very soon today. Thank you very much, Dr. Morgart. Okay, you have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. And that concludes the member experience of uh, activating a new account, filling out a health history, requesting a consultation, and going through a consultation with one of the 1-800-MD providers. Um, for more information, you can always visit our website, 1-800-MD.com. You can also download our mobile app on the iOS or Google Play Store, or you could always call our member services representatives at 1-800-530-8666. And with that, Todd, I'll pass it back to you. Oh, Carol, thank you so very much. We appreciate you being here and joining us today on behalf of um, 1-800-MD and to Dr. Morgart. Uh, thank you for your consultation and uh, live demo. Uh, you did a terrific job. I thought the overview was excellent. The importance of telemedicine, certainly in these uncertain times and of a pandemic, becomes even more valuable uh, to employers and employees alike. I certainly know that our clients have uh, engaged telemedicine at a very deep level and very purposely so that they continue their care during uh, times like this. So it's a wonderful uh, demonstration to understand the system the ease of which you can enroll and engage, the comfort for which you can draw from having a physician available to you uh, diagnostically in the ease of being able to be treated and, and receive medication. So on behalf of all of us at Alera, we thank you for your time to all of those that have joined us today and we'll have this available to them. Uh, we hope you find value in both 1-800-MD but telemedicine in general. Thank you so much. <laughs>